Hey, what's up guys? It's Cal here from KR Sabres. Uh, this is another one of my recently finished builds. This is a Tuscan Slayer. So the hilt's been made by uh, the guys over in Germany, Kai and uh, Marcus, I believe. And their company's called Watto's Junkyard. So they took the MRLE uh, Anakin reference dimensions from there. So it's super accurate and um, made a really cool kit for FX installs. Uh, this saber's for Anthony probably one of the most patient customers I've ever had. Uh, Anthony sent me a long time ago, we're talking like maybe a year or two ago, he sent me um, his Trid Cloudwalker Anakin just to sort of make as and when I had the time. Uh, he just wanted me to do it for him, seeing the one that I'd done previously by welding on a lower tube and heavily modifying it. And then um, as time went on, obviously this one was released, but I still had his Trid Cloudwalker hilt and um, I'd done some work on it already, uh, but Anthony wanted like newly machined grips and some other like custom modifications made to it. And when I was doing the CAD work for the grips, I noticed that the gaps in between the outer shroud of the Trid Cloudwalker hilt um, was just uneven and it would require like six unique grips because the dimensions were everywhere and um, it would be expensive to do and stuff like that. So I said to Anthony, why don't we get one of these Tuscan Slayer hilts that's already accurate and is more built for FX installs and we went with that so we changed it up we had done this and um, yeah it came out great so this is featuring uh, the Sabre project chassis that's been designed for the hilt it's a prism version 5.1 uh, it's got a uh, recharge port at the base of the uh, chassis which you access by removing the speaker so there's a little um if I show you here you just unscrew this like that and you've got the speaker I want to zoom in a bit more if I come a bit closer you've got the speaker there which you can then remove and you've got like this access panel that you can see just there and uh, you've got also rice access as well so you've got a rice adapter which you can plug into the three pins it's also SD card access there as well and when you want to obviously use the saber, you just plug the speaker back in. It does include a, a kill key as well. Let me just get this right. Two pins. There we go. So that's back in there now. The saber's just currently in deep sleep because Prism has a sleep function. Uh, this one I custom made for NeoPixel, so um, it's got all the accent LEDs and the activation switches are here. But in terms of the the blade system, it is a NeoPixel saber. So if you wake it up, so see the LEDs blinking there, and you've got auxiliary functions. Obviously, no light coming out the top because there's NeoPixel uh, to access the blade plug so I've machined down the blade plug so you've got the blade plug here you can see in there you've got a um, see, you've got a three pin GX16 connector this is before sort of the pogo pins were available so a lot of work had already been done with regard to the system for housing the connector and um probably couldn't get enough wires to run through anyway so the three pin connect is only three wires so that's the saber sort of turned on uh, without the blade inserted now the blade was a bit of a funny one as well so he had sent me because space window or Anthony he's he's good at making LED strip blades he's, he's been doing that for a long time like I've known uh, Anthony's been making LED strip blades most of the time for his sabers. So he sent me one that had an IntelliBlade kit, but um, he mentioned to me that the kit was already faulty and he only planned to use the blue on the LEDs. But when I originally done the install, he had sent me a DIN plug, an eight pin DIN, and um, it just wasn't connecting properly in terms of showing the right color. So everything was wired correctly, but the blade colors were just all over the place with this uh, blade strip. 
So I advised Anthony of the issues with the blade and um, I made a complete new NeoPixel blade for him. Used two NeoPixel strips and a three pin connector and one of the stock custom works uh, 3D printed sort of adapters to hold the GX16 connector. So I remade the whole blade and it came out perfect. Um, I don't know whether uh, the TCSS blades, I know they make them like 1.005 of an inch and I think Kai designed the emitter to be 25.5 mil, but I'm assuming the chrome plating added a few sort of microns or a bit more to the blade holder because the blade is really like a tight, tight fit, super tight fit. Like in terms, it's, it's quite difficult to push in, I'm not gonna lie. I couldn't machine the emitter because it would remove the chrome plating. And in terms of machining this hilt, it would stick out so far to do the emitter. So um, it's just one of those ones where you put the blade in and it's just a tight fit. I don't mean too tight to the point where you can't even pull it out or anything or put it in, you can. That's what she said. <laughs> but in terms of blade insertion, it's just a bit tight, that's all. So when I mean, when I put it in, what I do is I get the hilt and I line up the notch and then I push it in and it goes in a bit and then I just push down against like carpet or soft soft floor or something like that and then it will just slide in there. So uh, what I'll do is now, I'll put a blade in and show you guys a quick blade demo. So that was the uh, blade demo there, guys. Um, Anthony, I hope you enjoy the lightsaber. Um, I'm gonna pack it up and get it sent to you as soon as possible. Uh, also, you'll get the um, accessories that are included with it as well. So you get like a little Allen key and you get a display uh, pommel. And I also made you a rice adapter in case you wanted to make any color changes, but be able to see it in real time. So thanks again, as always, guys, for watching. Um, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit subscribe to be notified when I make new videos. Almost at 10,000 subscribers now, so it's quite exciting. And um, yeah, I'll catch you guys on the next video with the next build. See ya.